This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading is by Michael Sirwa, Michael.Sirwa, S I R O I S dot com. Penguin Island by Anatole France. Book Two The Ancient Times. Book Two, Chapter Seven The Dragon of Alca. Continuation. During all the month dedicated by the Romans to their false god Mars, or Mavors, the dragon ravaged the farms of Dalé and Dombey. He carried off fifty sheep, twelve pigs, and three young boys. Every family was in mourning, and the island was full of lamentations. In order to remove the scourge, the elders of the unfortunate villages, watered by the clang and the sorrel, resolved to assemble and together go and ask the help of the blessed male. On the fifth day of the month, whose name among the Latins signifies opening, because it opens the year, they went in procession to the wooden monastery that had been built on the southern coast of the island. When they were introduced into the cloister, they filled it with their sobs and groans. Moved by their lamentations, old male left the room in which he devoted himself to the study of astronomy and the meditation of the scriptures, and went down to them, leaning on his pastoral staff. At his approach the elders, prostrating themselves, held out to him green branches of trees, and some of them burnt aromatic herbs. And the holy man, seating himself beside the cloistral fountain, under an ancient fig-tree, uttered these words, O oh, my sons, offspring of the penguins, why do you weep and groan? Why do you hold out those suppliant boughs toward me? Why do you raise toward heaven the smoke of those herbs? What calamity do you expect that I can avert from your heads? Why do you beseech me? I am ready to give my life for you. Only tell your father what it is you hope from him. To these questions the chief of the elders answered, O oh, male, father of the sons of Alca, I will speak for all. A horrible dragon is laying waste our lands, depopulating our cattle-sheds, and carrying off the flower of our youth. He has devoured the child Elo, and seven young boys. He has mangled the maiden Orborosia, the, the fairest of the penguins, with his teeth. There is not a village in which he does not emit his poisoned breath, and which he has not filled with desolation. A prey to this terrible scourge we come, O male, to pray thee, as the wisest, to advise us concerning the safety of the inhabitants of this island, lest the ancient race of penguins be extinguished. O chief of the elders of Alca, replied Mail, thy words fill me with profound grief, and I groan at the thought that this island is the prey of a terrible dragon. But such an occurrence is not unique, for we find in books several tales of very fierce dragons. The monsters are oftenest found in caverns, by the brinks of waters, and in preference among pagan peoples. Perhaps there are some among you who, although they have received holy baptism, and been incorporated into the family of Abraham, have yet worshipped idols, like the ancient Romans, or hung up images, uh, uh, votive tablets, uh, fillets of wool, uh, and garlands of flowers on the branches of some sacred tree. Uh, or perhaps some of the women penguins have danced round a magic stone, uh, and drunk water from the fountains where the nymphs dwell. If it be so, believe, O oh, penguins, that the Lord has sent this dragon to punish all for the crimes of some, and to lead you, O oh, children of the penguins, to exterminate blasphemy, superstition, and impiety from amongst you. For this reason I advise, as a remedy against the great evil from which you suffer, that you carefully search your dwellings for idolatry, and extirpate it from them. I think it would also be efficacious to pray and to do penance. Thus spoke the holy male and the elders of the penguin people kissed his feet, and returned to their villages with renewed hope. End of chapter 7